everyone. Welcome to Draft to Done in 72 Hours, Fast Track Work with DocuSign and Microsoft. Sarah Pease here from the marketing team at DocuSign. And joining me today is our client, Matthew Cass, SVP and Executive Director for Operational Excellence and Risk at Consor. And you might not even know her already, your favorite senior product manager at DocuSign, Megatalk. If you're looking to boost productivity while maximizing your Microsoft investment, well, you've come to the right place. We're going to talk today about how Consor slashed contracting time and is up-leveling HR processes with DocuSign integrations for Microsoft. So let's get into it. Matthew, first, tell us which are the Microsoft products that, that Consor is integrating with, with DocuSign? Sure. Um... So with DocuSign, Consor is integrating several uh, pieces of technology from Microsoft, and those include Microsoft Forms, Microsoft Teams, Outlook, SharePoint, um, and Power Automate. All those allowing us to connect the different pieces of our organization. Excellent. And what was the problem that you were looking to solve when you came across DocuSign? <laughs> Originally, when we came across DocuSign, as many organizations first start out, we were using DocuSign simply for its e-signature functionality without exploring some of the enhancements it could bring within our native environment of Microsoft um, to the organization. Our biggest pain point uh, when I came to the organization was the lack of clarity surrounding where our documents resided. Where did they end up after they were executed? How are we managing um, the content uh, long-term and the associated risks of our contracts and the things that were going through DocuSign eSignature. Um, so with that, we began the exploration on how to better integrate into our existing ecosystem um, with Microsoft. Got it. And and tell us a little bit about what Consor does. Um, I understand there's a, a wide variety of things that you do across the nation. Sure. Uh, Consor um, is an engineering firm, um, and we do have a couple of primary services. We are transportation design. We do water and wastewater design, as well as bridge inspection um, as and construction inspection and testing services across multiple transportation and infrastructure related projects. Gotcha. Very cool. And and standard number of contracts that you have for any type of those agreements. Um, is it one or two or do you have several for each project? Sure. So for each one of our contracts, which we have roughly about 4,000 active contracts, we can have anywhere from zero up to 30 different vendors or subconsultants engaged on any given project. Um, so as many prime agreements that we have with our clients, we have a large number of subcontract and vendor agreements in place to support the portfolio. Gotcha. And zoom out for me a little bit on what those contracts mean. How do they impact the company more broadly? If, if something is incorrect or, or not according to plan or policy, how does that impact Consor more broadly? Yeah. Uh, so Consor, being a professional engineering firm, we have a tremendous amount of liability associated with the work we perform, <clears throat> whether that be uh, work associated with design um, where we may have an error or omission, or one of our vendors could have an error or omission. Those types of risks can trickle down all the way through construction, where we could be subject to an error in our plans from a construction cost perspective. If something should fail in, our, in a structure designed or built, and you know, we had vendors involved, we want to make sure that our contracts are actively passing through the flow down provisions from, from an insurance or other requirements to make sure that Consor is not assuming the risk of other vendors we work with. Gotcha. So reducing risk and then consistency across different vendors. Was that something that was important as well? It was. We uh, originally come, came together as many different organizations to form our company. Um, and as a result, we had a lot of different practices, a lot of different contracts that were being used. Wow. Uh, without much coordination, um, but in leveraging several different pieces of technology through DocuSign, including DocuSign CLM, we've been able to standardize and semi-automate um, not just the signature process and the associated workflows, leveraging SharePoint and other items, um, but also use the CLM uh, from DocuSign to create that consistency and, and help us manage the risk associated with contracting. Understood. And Mega, over to you. From uh, Zoom out for me for a second. What Are these the kinds of challenges that Consor is facing? Are these things that you're seeing with, with other uh, customers? You know, Are they common, even in other industries outside of engineering and construction? 
Yeah, absolutely, Sarah. We are seeing similar challenges across the industry. So roughly around 10,000 organizations today use the DocuSign and Microsoft integrations. And the top thing I hear our customers say is, one, we want to integrate all the technologies we use. We don't want to use like a bunch of different solutions, flip-flop from one technology to the other and waste our employees' time. The second thing that I have been hearing a lot uh, with AI becoming so top of mind for customers is how do you automate these repetitive tasks so that employees spend their time on the core business and they are not doing the same thing again and again, right? So some of our uh, integrations like with Outlook, Word, SharePoint teams that Matthew highlighted are actually leveraged highly in financial services, healthcare life sciences, um, uh, and like automotive and telecom type of sectors, that is where we are seeing the most growth. Uh, and on the automation side, using technologies like Power Automate, which Matthew also highlighted, uh, we are seeing huge growth um, on the public sector side and education. Like those are the top industries there. So absolutely, like very common challenges that most customers from SMB to like larger organizations are facing. Absolutely. I mean, as we know, every business runs on agreements of some form or fashion, so it's no wonder. Um, Matthew, back to you. Talk us through what the process looked like before you implemented DocuSign with Microsoft integrations, um, and what does it look like now? Prior to um, moving through the integration process, our uh, management of contracts and execution of contracts was primarily manual, uh, relying simply on email. Um, in both internally and externally in order to manage both the review and the execution of those contracts. And the downside of that was obviously we created uh, record retention issues for ourselves in terms of those contracts that we've executed and spent time negotiating. They weren't all landing in the same location um, or they may not have even been executed by the right individual because it was all manual. Um, with the DocuSign uh, tools in place integrating with Microsoft, We've accelerated the time um, from end to end uh, because people are receiving those notifications in Teams. They are receiving an email or the ability to push something from an email into uh, DocuSign for e-signature, um, attaching directly from e-signature back into the original email which you received. All of these integrations have been allowed us to streamline um, how quickly we execute, which turns into revenue, um, and also how accurately our information is stored and gathered once it has been executed in the DocuSign environment. So these integrations have been critical for you know, creating consistency of data uh, storage, uh, consistency and signature authority, um, all of the uh, many risks being reduced overall. I, I think that's great. I heard you say reducing risk improving consistency. And then I also heard you tying it back actually to revenue, you know, being able to, to get work done faster. Um, I think that I heard a statistic about um, you had a giant project, I think it was based in Florida. And tell us a little bit about that in terms of the timing. Sure. Um, so we um, had a, a contract in Florida that was tied to emergency services related to hurricane recovery um, and inspection uh, post storm. Uh, those contracts, as you can imagine, are pretty critical uh, in terms of getting those resources deployed across uh, the state of Florida. Um, with that, leveraging the DocuSign technology <clears throat> and the integrations with Microsoft, we were able to obtain the request from our project managers to generate these contracts and then have them pushed out through e-signature both on our internal signature and our external signature. And on average, each one of those contracts from end to end took about 15 minutes. Obviously they were using our standard templates, but the end to end to get those contracts each pushed out and returned in a very, very short period of time allowed us to deploy the resources into the community post storm. Wow, I mean, talk about something that really does make a difference um, in a day-to-day -day scenario. That's that's great to hear. Um, Mega, back to you for a second. Um, besides contracts, so we've been talking a lot about contracts today. Besides contract, what other kind of departments can use DocuSign integrations for Microsoft? Yeah, um, Sarah, thanks for asking that question. It's really interesting because we see all types of scenarios and departments using DocuSign and, and our integration. So some of the more common ones that I have seen is, for example, a sales scenario where you tend to have 
NDAs, MSAs, order forms, which are a lot of agreements that require signature and sometimes also complex negotiations, which you can leverage the CLM product for. Uh, we are also seeing huge adoption in employee onboarding. So HR teams trying to automate repetitive processes using Power Platform and DocuSign together. Uh, the other common one is customer and partner onboarding. So in different industries, for example, in hospitals doing patient onboarding, giving them an easy way to do identity verification and filling out a form. Uh, government applications, going to the DMV and filling out a form instead of doing it on paper, doing it on, on DocuSign and quickly being able to submit that. Uh, and last but not the least, I think um, legal scenarios, which Matthew can also tell you a ton about, like uh, complex, complex agreements across organizations, which have tons of risks and a lot of back and forth, uh, is where we have seen like most adoption of our integrations in DocuSign and gender. Not just for legal folks, uh, also DocuSign um, integrations for Microsoft are for sales teams, for HR teams, customer and partner onboarding, and um, of course, our friends in legal. Um, speaking of HR, Matthew, I understand, I think a little birdie actually told me that Consor is exploring a couple of other ways of uh, leveraging DocuSign integrations for Microsoft. Can you tell us about that? Absolutely. Uh, we're uh, quite excited. We're currently um, in beta testing. Um, Right now, um, we had been exploring different ways to automate our HR processes, not just related to onboarding, but also the month over month um, engagements with our existing employees for whether it be change of status of some sort or tuition reimbursement or any number of those HR related forms. Um, so we have our, we're thrilled to learn about the integration between Microsoft Forms and uh, DocuSign. Um, it really is going to allow us to transform that data collection and also then the associated execution of these documents um, through e-signature. Um, so we are in the process of leveraging Microsoft Forms and Power Automate to then uh, push those documents out for e-signature. Um, and very excited about it. Well, January 1 is our go live um, for our HR forms and uh, associated uh, approvals. Very cool. Well... That is it for today, folks. I'd like to thank Matthew Cass from Consor. If you'd like to learn more about DocuSign integrations for Microsoft that we talked about today or any of our other integrations, please visit our stand in person in Seattle at Microsoft Ignite or at our virtual booth. My name is Sarah Pease, and on behalf of Megatalk and the entire DocuSign team, thank you and have a great day.